Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Well, hi, Carl Adelstein and Ethan Suppley. How are you? Good. How are, How are you? Thank you so very much for joining me here. I'm broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas, and I found out you guys have a great following for Train Can. We're excited about that. Yeah, well, we're excited about you. If I could start with you, Paul, tell yeah. us a little bit about Chance, those of us who are not devotees like I saw the people on my Facebook page. Uh -huh. Chance is um, about a uh, psychiatrist played by uh, Hugh Laurie in San Francisco who is kind of having a hard time in his life, and he gets involved inappropriately with a patient played by Gretchen Mall, who may not be exactly who she says she is. And um, her husband, played by me, is a um, kind of uh, is a detective, a homicide detective from Oakland, who is kind of a, a bad guy and um, doesn't like that they've gotten involved and starts really making life hard for Hugh's character. Uh, Hugh turns to Ethan's character, D, who's kind of an ex-military soldier of fortune type, to kind of learn the ways of the other side of society because he has to defend himself. So it kind of has that classic noir, good guy has to go over to the, to the dark side in order to protect himself a little bit vibe. Ethan, they say this is a psychological thriller, and I see more and more things falling under that jo genre rather than slasher and killer picture. What role are you playing in this psychological thriller? Uh, I play kind of a guy who's off the grid, ostensibly ex-military, knows how to handle um, unethical or immoral situations. Uh, you know, if you, if you have a dirty cop messing with you, you come to me and I help you fix that dirty cop. Which means kill. <laughs> right. But I have other ideas. Okay. okay, that's a very interesting role. Paul, let me ask you. You are. Uh, you guys are doing this on Hulu. You guys are uh, in the frontier. Is it different doing it in in, in a new place? Because you guys are, you know, not traditional network or even traditional cable. It, it felt. Um, it, it, you know, once you're doing the actual work, it doesn't feel different. But this really felt like they were giving it the the time and care that a feature film would have, which is very rare on television. And so we felt like we were shooting a 10-hour movie. I mean, we were on these beautiful locations in San Francisco with every resource you could imagine with this amazing cast and directors. Um, and so they really stretched out for it. And so it really felt special to be at Hulu because um, they believed in the project so much. Ethan, you're kind of a veteran. You're from Deepwater Horizon, The Wolf of Wall Street, and many, many, remember the Titans, many others. So you bring a wealth of who you are to this film. How has this helped you up your game? Well, this this is actually this this part is utterly foreign to to anything I've ever done before. I think in American History X, I had a shaved head, which was about the the most similar thing I had to draw upon for this role, just shaving my head. Um, the character D is a leader, and he has an answer for everything and he's very confident about his answer and he can handle himself physically and mentally uh, and and I've found typically I'm playing you know a sidekick or somebody's brother or a follower so it was a fantastic opportunity f for me to do something totally new. Paul I'll wrap up with you and you know we remember you from Bra Bravo's Girlfriend's Guide mm -hmm. to Divorce is there any similarities in, in reprising this role, or is this a totally new role for you? This, this felt completely different for me. Um, you know, it was, it was really fun to play a guy who 
really has his own sense of right and wrong um, and what most people would probably view as wrong. But, you know, he can justify it to himself, but he is uh, definitely a guy who is playing on uh, the wrong side of the law and using the power of the badge to kind of do whatever he wants. And that was totally new to me. I'd never played a role like that, and that was really fun to explore. Well, you guys are on New Horizons here, so when can we watch you in Chance? I know we can watch you on Hulu, you know. Is it just streaming? Do we tune in any time? What? Every, uh, every Wednesday, a new episode is released. I think there are four or five out now. And so we will... can binge watch? You can binge watch it, and one will be released every week until December 14th, which is the season finale. Ah, I can't wait. You guys are doing great work, I heard, and I will be a watcher. So when you come back, I will have watched it. Great. Awesome. Thank you. All right. I heard that Chance Psychological Thriller is where you want to be as my audience. I want to thank Paul Adelstein and Ethan Supley. Thank you, guys. Thank Thanks you very for much. Us. Great interview. Take care.